When, when you vote, what matters is the question you, the voter, is being asked on the ballot. The ballot is your communication to the government as your choice as an elector. Therefore, what's written on the ballot must be clear and honest. You decide whether it becomes law. That question on the ballot is the expression of the voters' will, according to the California Supreme Court. Therefore, this question must be clear, honest. Major all question on the ballot ask you to raise a new tax and continue another tax, and it says it's for one penny. Sounds too cheap? No, the politicians on the city council are misleading you to make you believe that you will pay one cent tax no matter what you buy, while in fact they will charge you one percent tax when no, of the price of whatever you buy. It is dishonest to present to you a misleading question on the ballot and to make it easier to pass. Send a clear message, both no and Major O. Major O will um, raise the total uh, tax to 8.5%, the highest in Yolo County. It would be devastating to the businesses in Davis. Do not let that happen. Collapsing businesses and unemployment is never good for any city. Vote no on Major O. The city of Davis cannot invite the voters to adopt a language on a measure and once it's approved, um, do something else. But that's exactly what Major O is about. An extension of an existing tax is one thing, an addition of the, the tax is another, is something else, completely different. And therefore, Major O mixes these two issues in one question on the same election. It would deny you, the voter, the right to vote in 2016 as to whether you want to continue an existing tax. Robbing the voters of the opportunity to vote is contrary to the principles of good government. You, the voter, deserve a separate question, a separate election as to whether you want to continue a tax. Major O is dishonest. They are asking you to increase the tax and at the same time to continue a tax. They are presenting you with false, misleading ballot question to make it easier to pass. It is time for you to stop them and say no, vote no on Measure O. The last time one of these measures was approved in 2004, the City Council gave a 36% raise to a group of employees instead of fixing the roads and the bike paths. At this time, it has no specific purpose and it could be used for anything from pay raises to travel, vacations, you name it. Davis residents deserve to be treated with respect when they are being asked for money. If this measure passes, you will expect a parcel tax in November. In the city council has uh, uh, treated the voters of Davis as if they would be an ATM machine every time that they run the budget in the red. Both no on Measure O.